ESPN on NFL recently put out a ranking listing the best roster cores in the NFL. And as you all know, the San Francisco 49ers arguably have the best roster in the league. So you would imagine that the San Francisco 49ers are ranked very highly. Now, as you can see on the screen, Kansas City Chiefs come in at number one. And hey, rightfully so. Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, Chris Jones, Creed Humphrey some quality players and they're just fresh off of winning a Super Bowl. So, okay, no real big surprise there, but I would imagine the San Francisco 49ers will be coming next. Oh, that's not the San Francisco 49ers. That is the Cincinnati Bengals. Okay. Well, Bengals with Burrow, Chase, T Higgins, some phenomenal young weapons. Okay. I guess if you really want to do it that way and have it weighted with Joe Burrow, I guess, but surely, the 49ers are going to be ranked number. Th oh, that's not the 49ers. That's the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, I mean, I guess the, the Philly Eagles did beat the San Francisco 49ers in the NFC Championship game. And of course, Jalen Hurts is a phenomenal quarterback, arguably top five. And you have A.J. Brown, Lane Johnson. Yeah, they, OK, there's some weapons. But we would we would assume that the 49ers don't slip out of the top five. They'll be right here at number four. That's not the San Francisco 49ers. That's the Miami Dolphins. The Miami Dolphins ranked number four ahead of the San Francisco 49ers with Tua, Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddle. I mean, yeah, great young assets. I mean, Jalen Ramsey, okay. But, I mean, better than the San Francisco 49ers entire roster? I don't think so. Okay. All right, fine. Top five it is. Uh, wait. That's not the San Francisco 49ers. That is the Buffalo Bills coming in at number five. And yes, this, these are phenomenal assets. You got Josh Allen, one of the young best quarterbacks in the league, and Stephon Diggs, who's been a elite wide receiver. But I thought this was roster cores, like the whole team, the whole roster. I mean, if, if the 49ers don't come in at six, we riot. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? ESPN really put the Dallas Cowboys at six ahead of the San Francisco 49ers. The, the Dallas Cowboys, the team that got bounced by the San Francisco 49ers in the last two playoffs that they have met in in back-to-back -back years, has a better roster core than the 49ers? What are we doing here? I mean... If they're not at seven, we we just I mean this this list is already extremely questionable. But if the 49ers aren't at oh my gosh, I I'm starting to feel secondhand disrespect here. I'm not even on this team, and I'm starting to feel a little bit disrespected by this list. I mean, okay, yes, these are phenomenal assets, and Justin Herbert, Joey Bosa, Rashawn Slater is one of my favorite young tackles in the league. Keenan Allen's one of my favorite players ever to enter the league. But what are we doing here? How is this? How are we allowing this to go on ESPN? How is how, what? Okay, fine. 49ers are going to be at a that's not the fort. The New York Jets have a better roster core than the San Francisco 40. Why? Because they got Aaron Rodgers. Of course, Sauce Gardner and Garrett Wilson are two of just budding stars and Quinn and Williams, probably one of the best interior defensive tackles in the entire NFL. But what, what, how, why, who, I mean, if the 49ers aren't ninth on this list, I'm, oh my gosh, what, what's happening? What is happening here? Where are the San Francisco 49ers? Why Baltimore? What? Oh, look, there are the San Francisco at 10. ESPN has the San Francisco 49ers at 10th on this list. Again, NFL roster cores, not NFL quarterbacks plus rosters, roster cores, the entire core of the roster. And you are looking at arguably the best players at each one of their positions in the NFL and the San Francisco 49ers are ranked 10th, please make it make sense. We cannot forget about the entire roster core that the San Francisco 49ers currently are putting out on the field in 2023. 
Javon Hargrave was arguably the biggest signing of any team in free agency, and you're plugging it into the league's number one defense on the interior defensive line. You have Kyle Juszczyk, who is a linchpin of the San Francisco 49ers offensive run game, and he is the best fullback in the league and has been for a better part of a decade. You have Debo Samuel, Brandon Ayuk, arguably one of the most electric wide receiver duos in the NFL. You have Eric Armstead, who makes a ton of plays. Charvarius Ward, who is an ascending cornerback one. Dre Greenlaw making huge strides. All pro Talanoa Hufanga, first team all pro at that. Elijah Mitchell, Diamador Lenore, Brock Purdy, or Trey Lance. Pick your poison there. Jordan Mason, who is an ascending running back, who has a chance to make a ton of waves this year. Aaron Banks, Spencer Burford heading into their second years as starters, who will be ascending as well. Jair Brown, who's going to make a ton of plays for the San Francisco 40. Who else did I miss? And I know I missed a couple guys. But you add Javon Hargrave. You have Brandon Ayuk. I didn't even mention Drake Jackson and his ascension. You have all these guys. Gip, who was a phenomenal player for the San Francisco 49ers last year, stepping in for Jimmy Ward, had five interceptions. Brock Purdy, obviously, if he's healthy, he went undefeated as a rookie with the San Francisco 49ers. I mean, this team is absolutely stacked. And the fact that they are ranked 10th in the NFL just doesn't sit well with me. But what do you think about this ranking? Do you think this is an appropriate spot to have the San Francisco 49ers roster core? Do you think this is disrespectful? And let me know if the answer is yes to that question where the San Francisco 49ers should be ranked. Let me know in the comments below and make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.